What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. So in today's video, a lot of you will probably already know what I'm about to talk about. And if you don't know what I'm about to talk about, I will give you a little bit of context in a second. But I wanted to preface this video before we properly got into it because this is not a topic or the kind of video that I ever do. I like to stay away from this kind of thing. I don't wanna get involved in any drama. I don't wanna be a part of spilling any tea or anything like that, cancel culture, nothing. And this whole situation actually has nothing really to do with me, but there's one tiny link and I feel like I not necessarily even should talk about this, but I want to talk about it. I know some of you guys already are gonna be like, what is she talking about? So here's a little bit of context. I'm gonna make a long story as short as I possibly can. And I just wanna let you guys know where I'm at with things. So as a lot of you will probably know, cause I banged on about it a lot. I recently collaborated with Ofra and we made this banging highlighter called Milk and Cookies. I'm still, I still stand by it. It is the best highlighter I have ever tried. I just so happen to have made it myself. And that is the reason why I wanna talk about all this because it's a recent collaboration. I've been getting tagged in things. I've had people asking me questions. And the reason I'm referencing that is because that is my link to this whole situation. So the situation to cut a very long, very complicated story short is it is currently Thursday the 3rd of June. This happened a few days ago, I wanna say at the start of the week. I was getting tagged in Instagram posts and Twitter posts and I was getting DMs and I was, I was inundated with them and I was like, what is going on? And so basically what happened at the start of this week is a photo surfaced from 2016. Now, to give you again a little bit more context, the owner of Ofra, one of them is called Ofra herself, and then her husband, who also I believe co-owns the company, is called David just as like a little bit of context. I've never met either of these people. I've never had any contact with them, whether it's through emails, DM, nothing like that. I've never had any contact with them. I don't even think my management have either. We've been dealing with a totally different team. However, what happened at the start of the week was a photo surfaced from Ofra's personal Instagram from 2016. And that photo was a picture of her husband, David, and he was wearing a Make America Great Again hat. He was holding up an American flag. He was doing a symbol with his hand. And the caption of the photo said, we love you, Trump. And this is where I wanna pause for a second because before we get into any of that, I know there's gonna be some people that will watch my videos that will support Trump. And there's gonna be some people that really, really don't. People are allowed to vote for whoever they want. They're allowed to have their own thoughts, whether I agree with them or whether I totally disagree with them. And it's okay to do that, to agree or disagree, whatever. On this instance, I will say, my views and my thoughts about all these different things do not align with what has been shown from the brand owners. I'm not here to cause any drama, any problems, anything like that. I'm literally letting you guys know my stance on a certain situation that has happened. That's actually nothing to do with me, but due to the fact that I have this product and the fact that I've had people questioning me about something else that has happened, uh, doesn't sit right with me, which is why I'm here feeling very awkward talking about stuff where normally I'm sitting here just putting highlighter on my face and making crap jokes. But yeah, that situation happened. There are a lot more details. There are a lot of other things. There are like liked tweets. There are screenshots of like donations and stuff. But like I said, I'm not here to just go and spill the tea. If you know the situation that's gone on, if you care to know about the situation that's gone on, you can find loads of different things on the internet. You can make your own decision. I'm not here to tell you what to do. Uh, I'm here to tell you what I'm doing. And if you guys agree with me, that's fine. And if you disagree with me, that's also fine. So yeah, that's kind of the outline of what happened. Um, I think it's pretty obvious that that situation, underlying meanings, everything that's gone with it, I don't align myself with that in the slightest. But the fact that I have a product with my name on it on the back, that's on the front page of the website. It's advertised on their social media. It's been advertised on mine. A lot of you that are watching this will already know me. You, I've already had messages like, we know that's not you, Steph. We know you didn't know anything about that. But I've also had people that probably had no idea who I was before any of this came out. And you, they would maybe look at the brand page or look on the website and they would find influencers that have worked with them and call them out and say, what are you gonna do about this? Did you know about this? Do you agree with them? All of that. And so that's what I'm kind of saying when I say that this has nothing to do with me, but it does also have something to do with me. I've been doing this for years. Um, I've turned down brand deals in the past because the companies have been owned by someone who I have really disagreed with or I've not liked the way they've run their business. And I flat out refuse to collaborate with these people. And that's why I was so excited when I did my first collaboration with Ofra. I've been doing internet stuff for like 10 years. This is my first collaboration. I've been approached for years about other collaborations and I wanted to wait until it was a product that I used all the time because you guys knew I love their highlighters. And it was a brand who I believed my thoughts, feelings, 
feelings, morals, everything aligned with. The tricky thing is when you have a brand, you're held responsible. I mean, we've seen it happen so many times over the past few years when cancel culture and drama channels and stuff have become a thing. We'll see a brand owner or we'll see an influencer and something problematic will come out about them and then it's cancel this person or this brand's canceled or the owner has to step down. And so what I'm getting at is as a brand, there are gonna be so many different political opinions. There's gonna be so many diff different opinions, thoughts, morals, everything under that one brand. However, as the owner of a brand, as someone with a public page that anyone could access, We've all seen what happens in this kind of situation multiple times now, whether it's coming from a brand and a brand owner or whether it's coming from an influencer that's maybe done something wrong. If something ever came out about me or Ollie or even some of the brands that I worked with or my management, you know that because it's associated with me, I would be the one that would have to take some kind of responsibility. And so the issue that I'm having here is that this isn't about canceling someone who has a different opinion to me or a different opinion to someone else or opinions at all. The problem is, is that these are public opinions. And when you are publicly associated with your own brand, when your page is public, when people have access to what you've liked or to things that you've done, it's something you've obviously got to be conscious of. You know, I can't stop what happens behind closed doors. I can't stop what some people think. But if you're there as owners of a well-known brand with a public page and you're posting anything you want, you can do that. But it doesn't mean there aren't any consequences. And so I'm just getting out my phone now to read what's now been said. And so what the update says is that David and Ofra will no longer be serving in leadership roles effective immediately and they'll be donating $2,500 each to the NAACP and the It Gets Better project. And they are committed to donating $50,000 over the next five years to organizations that serve our community. Okay, I appreciate the update. I appreciate that they're stepping down. Um, they're, still, they're still profiting from the company. Um, and I honestly, if someone said to me, well, what would you prefer? that would happen, I would say, I don't know. And it's also not my duty to say what should or be shouldn't done and what's right and wrong. And I knew what I was gonna say in this video, but I also wanted to hear what everyone else had to say. But I basically reposted what they said and asked what everyone else's thoughts were on it. And I got so many comments, so I really, really appreciate that if you did sort of let me know your thoughts. And what I think is a lot of what you guys are thinking as well, that they're still going to profit from it, People are saying they're not wanting to support the brand anymore. A lot of you are saying that the donation amount isn't enough. And I would agree with that. Um, I actually did the math and it works out at about 180 highlighters, totals $5,000. And I know how many highlighters were personally sold using my links or my discount codes. And it was a lot more than that. Which is why that didn't really sit well with me at all because I know that I've, and you guys, especially you guys, you guys are the ones that have actually bought the highlighter because of me and put that money actually into the company. And like I said, it's a lot more than five grand. People are also saying things like, I don't think it's fair, the whole of Ofra and its employees have to suffer. And I fully agree with that. Like I said, uh, the team that I worked with, I have nothing but good things to say about those people. And up until this all came out, I was still working with them on things, uh, which I have now halted. And whilst I haven't had a single bad experience with the brand and the people that I've worked with and the whole process, it's not about me. You know, I'm seeing so many messages from you guys saying that you're not sure that you can trust that they aren't financially benefiting from over still. Someone I think said a good point here. They said they're allowed their own political views. However, when you own brands, you should keep your views private, more so as to clash with the brand's diversity. Someone said, I feel you shouldn't work with brands who break people's trust. And then someone also said, which is totally fair enough and I kind of wanted to address that someone said, I love you in your YouTube videos, but surely you should have researched the company beforehand, which I had. Hindsight is 2020, and it's one of those things that you don't know until you know. Had I known about anything that's now come to light, I would not have made milk and cookies with a brand. Don't get me wrong, I have nothing but love for this product. I have so much love for it, I'm so proud of it. I had such a great time. I have no complaints or anything like that about the whole process that I went through. And whilst that's my own personal experience, that's not really the opinion that matters right now. There's so many messages from people saying, I can't believe I gave money to this person and I can't believe I gave money to this company. And someone also said this cancel culture nonsense is toxic. And I actually agree with that. Like I said, I'm not here to cancel anyone. I'm not here to, it's not my opinion what happens with the company. I'm actually nothing to do with it. I made a product about with a company that I thought were sound and my own personal experiences with the company, not with the owners because I didn't ever talk to them, nothing but good. 
But the thing is, is what if that was me? What if that was me in 2016 with the photo? And I'd had my collaboration and this had come out and I was being canceled. There are things in contracts and this isn't just Ofra, this isn't some weird thing. This is just a very, very standard thing that especially when you're doing some kind of like influencery modeling, like some kind of your face or your name is then associated with a brand. If something happens, if something public happens that's deemed problematic or whatever legal terms they use, basically if I do something that hinders the brand that can make them halt sales or perhaps because I'm associated with the brand, people then won't want to buy from the brand anymore. That is a very normal clause that happens in contracts. You know, Of course, I wouldn't expect the brand to continue working with me if I was basically getting canceled. And so what I'm saying here is, it works the other way around as well. If that was me, you know I would probably be dropped so quickly by a brand deal. You know if I did something like that, all the brands that you see me working with, a lot of them would probably back out and for good reason. So even outside of my own personal opinions and if I take away everything personally and if I just use it from like a business standpoint, my name, my face, it's on websites, on their pages, their social media, it's on their product. What does that say about me? You guys already know me and like I said, I'm already getting some messages of people saying, surely you knew about this. You know, I, I thought I thought you were different. And I've, I've actually had people say, I can't believe you would support this. As if I had any idea, which of course you guys will know, I don't support any of that. Which is why now I know I don't feel comfortable having my name on this product. And it sucks. It really, really sucks. Like if we, if we kept this going, if I just didn't really mention anything about it, took the links out of my description, didn't promote it or anything like that, number one, that would suck because I want to talk about that all the time. I use it every single day. And number two, would I still make a little bit of money from it? Would I still get commission from it? There'll be some sales. There'll be some people that just go on the website and they might want to like buy it again, or they might just come across it randomly and not know who I am. And then they just want to buy it because it looks nice. So if I just sat back and just didn't really say anything, I could earn a little bit of money, just passive income. And not a single person that I've seen, messages, DMs, anything like that, has asked me to do this or said that I should think about doing it. But it's, for what it stands for, and for how I feel about the situation, and you know, what, what would I gain out of this apart from a little bit of passive income? I've made my product and I'm proud of it and I'm happy with my experience and I have no negativity about that whole experience at all. But like I said, if I knew about this, I wouldn't have made this. And now I know about this, I would like to stop making it. That's a lie actually. I, 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 I don't want to stop making this at all because I, yeah, I, I'm proud of it. And I know you love it as well. And I cannot believe how many people supported this, but I don't feel comfortable with some of it. And I definitely don't feel comfortable with knowing that you guys don't feel comfortable. And so, yeah, um, I'm gutted. I'm really, really gutted. I haven't really thought about it too much. I've just been like thinking in my own head, but not really talking about it. So yeah, my management and I are gonna be talking to Ofra um, and I don't know how quickly it'll happen. Cause again, there are contracts. It all depends on just the full on legal side of things. But I am going to be stopping the production of milk and cookies. Um, it might be a slow, a slow stop. Again, like I said, I don't know how quickly this will go into action. I don't want to be associated with that. I don't want people assuming that because my name is on a product, I think in a similar way, I had the same beliefs. I don't want people having to weigh up the choice of wanting to support me because you guys are great and then also being like, but I don't really want to support that brand. I don't want you having to question that. If my name is on something and if you like me and if you like the idea of a product, I want you guys to go, I want that. There's no second guessing. There's no thought of should I? Is that right? I don't know what's going to happen with the situation. I don't know how long it's going to go on. I don't know if anything else is going to come out. I don't want to be a part of it. And like I said, it's not about canceling anyone. It's not about anything like that. It's just, I have the chance and the opportunity to go, no, thank you. And that's what I'm doing. And so I do want to say, because I'm sure some people at Ofra will watch this, this is nothing to do with the people that I knew, the people that I worked with, the people that I had great conversations with that was so nice. And I honestly just had so many great experiences. This is nothing to do with that. 
it's actually nothing to do with my personal situation at all. When you're a brand owner or a public figure or whatever, some kind of public entity, and you have a brand, and that brand not only has its customers, but it'll also have employees, it'll have you know people like me that they will collaborate with. It can all come trickling down. And I'm one of the people that has more of a public platform. And I do have a platform, I guess, to say what I'm doing and what I'm not doing. And if people agree, then people agree. And if they don't, then they don't. I'm not gonna start a witch hunt. I'm not gonna start any drama. I'm not gonna fuel any drama. I'm actually just saying, I don't want a single thing to do with this. And that really sucks because I want everything to do with this, but I don't want a single thing to do with that. So yeah, that's the situation um, and it sucks and it's, it's a shame. And it's not a decision I've taken lightly and it's not a decision I feel like I've had to do or I've been forced into doing at all. It's been something that I have just decided would be for the best. But yeah, I do wanna honestly say thank you so much to the Oprah team that I worked with um, and thank you to you guys for buying milk and cookies. And I really, really do appreciate it so much. This is my first collaboration. <laughs> it's not working out very well. But yeah, I hope you guys understand. I have been, I've been sweating this whole video, my hands are like actual clams right now. I feel like I don't wanna end the video because once I end the video, then it's like, this is kind of done. And I can't really talk about it much anymore. It's like the last few minutes of a breakup before you separate and then you never see that person again. That's how it kind of feels. But yeah, I mean, they say one door closes, another one opens. So let's see how that plays out. Say goodbye to milk and cookies. He's waving. I don't know how to end this video. But anyway, I'm gonna head off. I feel like I'm going to cry and I don't want to because I quite like my makeup today. It's not really right to say if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, but if you do want to do any of those things, thank you, much appreciated. But yeah, thank you again for all your support on everything to do with milk and cookies. Um, am I a real YouTuber now? I'm like kind of involved in the scandal. Do I like, do I get a certificate or something? But yeah, I'm gonna leave it here for now. Uh, thank you once again to everyone for everything, like I said before. Um, I'm gonna go cry now. I'm so gutted, but um, yeah, I think it's for the best. Anyway, I will see you in the next one. Love you, bye.